In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create pages on your website. So a page is like an about page, a services page, a contact page, or even a photo gallery page. So to make pages, all we have to do is log into our website. And once we do that, we hover over pages and we click add new. Or we could just click on pages and click add new. All right, now we enter in the title of our page right here. So this is going to be our about page. So I'm just going to type in about. All right, now we have the choice of either HTML or visual. I recommend going with visual so you don't need to know any code or anything like that. So click on visual. Then here is where you enter in the content. So I'm just going to enter in some random content. And let's see what that did. So in order to save all the changes, you just click publish right here. So let's click publish. Then we can click view page. All right, so what'd that do? That put the title here, that put it in about in our uh, navigation menu, and that put the content right here. All right, it also put it in the sidebar, which I'm gonna show you how to uh, remove and change in a later video. Okay, so let's see some other things that we can do. We can also bold things. So if we just click on this and bold it, we can put in quotes. So if we highlight this right here and we click on the quote button, it'll go in quotes. And we could do a whole bunch of other things. Let's see what that did though by clicking the update button and then viewing our website. We can see that this is bolded and this is in quotes right here. All right, let's put in some more content here. And now let's try to insert a photo. So let's just click right before the this L or right before the beginning of your content and let's click this upload slash insert button. It's an add, add media button. Just go ahead and click that. And select files. So browse on your computer where a good file is. I'm gonna actually put myself in here because it's about page. then scroll down, <clears throat> excuse me, and where it says link URL, uh, that's so if when someone clicks a button, uh, it'll go to a bigger picture. Or if you put in something like google.com here, when someone clicks a button, it'll be a link to google.com. But we just want it to be a regular picture, and when you click on it, nothing happens. So I'm just going to put none. For alignment, you can either have none, left, uh, center, or right. I'm going to choose left, and that means that the picture is going to be to the left and the text is going to be to the right. So it has a little diagram of what it, that would look like right here. For the size, WordPress automatically resizes the images for you. So you can, uh, you can do full size if you want the whole uh, width and height of your picture but I'm just going to do medium. So I'm just going to click medium, then I'm going to insert into post. So that puts, puts my image right there. And let's see what that looks like by clicking update. And then viewing our page. So there it is, the image of me. Let's see how to do uh, different things. Let's see how to put in a heading. So this would be like the title of a different section. Let's highlight it. And to get more options, let's click on this button. It's called the kitchen sink. Don't ask me why. So click on this button. 
and under paragraph, let's go to heading one. All right, and click update. And we can view what that looks like. So that's pretty cool. It's just like Microsoft Word where you can put in uh, different things like lists. So if we wanted a number list, one, two, three, and we could format it different ways and we can actually make it a different color also. So we can highlight this and we could choose a nice blue or something. All right, we could also align things to the left, to the center, or to the right. And we could also make links. So if I wanted to click here and then press the link button, and I said this goes to www.knewton.org, and I could add a link. So now when I update it, and we refresh our page, we can see that we have a link, this blue, and our new uh, link right here. So if we click on it, we'll go to my website. All right, uh, another thing that you might want to do is you want, might want to get rid of the sidebar. In a later video, I'm going to show you how to edit this sidebar. But just know that it's called a sidebar, and this is where different content can go like sign up for your newsletter, etc. So uh, to get rid of it, what we do is we go to uh, under template, we could just do a full width template, no sidebar. We can click update. And now when we refresh it, uh, the sidebar is gonna disappear and the content's gonna go all the way to the right. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, but we're just gonna go back to the default sidebar, default template. Now, what happens if you just go back to your dashboard and you wanna edit that page again? We could just go to pages and we see all of our pages right here. So we see that about page here and we can just click on it and get back to it. As we can see on our website right here, we also have a sample page. But this wasn't originally part of our website. This is WordPress just default puts this in. So how do we get rid of this? Well, once again, if we're on our dashboard, we can go to pages. And we could just hover over sample page and click trash. And now when we refresh and go to our website, there's no more sample page. So just pages and then trash or edit or view. All right, uh, so I guess your homework is to make a few more pages. Maybe you want a, a contact page or a services page or even a photo gallery page. Make those pages yourself and uh, yeah, continue on to the next tutorial. If you want more free courses, please go to knewton.org. That's C-O-N-U-T-A-N-T dot O-R-G. I'll talk to you soon.